Hi, my name is Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad to have you here with me today. And today we are doing a throwback eyeshadow tutorial with the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. If you haven't seen her before, this is what she looks like. This is a cult classic in the beauty community and I've had mine for quite a while. And if you are not a regular here, then you won't know that I'm doing a pan that palette for 2022 and this is my palette of choice. So I thought it was only fitting to bring this baby out and do a throwback tutorial to feature it and show it just a little bit more love here on my channel. So if that sounds good to you and you want to know how I created this look right here, then just keep on watching. We're gonna recreate this look that I've got right here in today's throwback tutorial using the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. If you guys didn't know, this is my Pan That palette for 2022. So I, of course, wanted to do a throwback tutorial using it. I thought that that would be a great way to showcase this palette and get some more use out of it. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I did to achieve this look was I took the shade White Peach, the shade right here, and I dusted that all over my lid. I used this to set everything down and just give me a nice base so no shadows would bunch or stick. And if you're wondering, I'm also using the MAC Paint Pot in Laying Low. It is my go-to eyeshadow primer. I use that today to prime my eyelid. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is take a Morphe M573 and I'm going to dip into the shade Puree right here. It's one of the lighter browns in the palette. And I'm going to use that to start building some definition on the outer corner. So I'm taking this and I'm applying it in an upwards motion at my outer corner. Really just trying to build up some pigment and then I'm going to start circular motions to bring it in a little bit and then circular motions down here. Some windshield wiper motions. I'm going to dip back in for a little bit more product. Just going to pack on some more color. And if I sound a little different guys, I had some surgery on my jaw about a week and a half ago. So I'm still healing, but I'm doing much better than I was, that's for sure. Now I'm going to take a Ruffer 15 and I'm going to dip into one of the pink shades in the palette. I'm going to use the shade Candied Peach, this one right here. And I'm going to take the shade and I'm going to run it pretty much on the inner three quarters of my eye. Right now I'm just laying the color down. I'll come back and build up intensity as we go. But right now I'm just laying it down, blending the edges together a little bit. Now I'm taking a refer number three and I'm going to dip into this dark brown shade. It's a cooler matte shade. It's called Charmed, I'm sure. This is the shade right here. And I'm using this on the refer number three just to kind of add some more depth in that outer corner. I'm just laying it down right in my natural crease, just right there in the outer corner and going down to the lash line. Now I'm gonna go back in with that Morphe brush and a little bit more puree, and we're gonna start blending. So I'm blending in circular motions on top. I just wanna diffuse this so it's just like a subtle hint of darkness. I don't want anything to, to be too heavy and to be too much for this look. Now I'm going to run a little bit more of Candy Peach just over everything and I'm just building up a little bit more of that color in the inner corner and I'm just blending over everything, mixing it all together. The next shade I'm going to be dipping into is going to be this metallic brown shade called Cobbler. And I'm going to put this down with a rougher number two 
I'm gonna pick up some of that and I'm gonna lay that down right here on the outer portion of my eye. Right up to where I added that darker shade and then just bringing it inwards. And I'm taking like the remnants of what's on my brush and I'm bringing it up slightly above my crease, kind of just feathering it up because of my hooded eyes, I want it to be able to be seen. And now I'm gonna flip my brush over and I'm gonna dip into the shade Luscious right above it. It's a much lighter, shimmery, metallic color. It has, it's like a beigey metallic with a subtle pink shift. It's very pretty. I think it's like the most impactful shade in the whole palette. And I'm gonna just paint that on with my brush. And the same thing, feathering it up above my natural crease. And then I'm just going to go back and forth between the two sides of my brush just to blend those colors together. I'm gonna grab the same brush that I had used for Candied Peach and I'm gonna run just over everything in my crease just to make sure everything is nice and blended and those shimmers that are peeking up didn't have any harsh lines. We're all blended out to perfection now. Now I'm gonna grab a refer number 13. It's just this little teeny tiny blending brush. I'm going to dip into puree again and I'm gonna use this to run along my lower lash line and we're gonna start building up some color there. So like I said, I'm just running it right here along my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna pick up a rougher number three, the little pencil brush, and go back into Charmed, I'm sure. And I'm gonna take some of this and I'm gonna focus this really close up to my lash line to add just a hint more depth in darkness. Now I'm gonna grab another rougher number three and I'm gonna dip back into that luscious shade. And I'm really gonna pack this down here on my inner corner. I really want it to shine right in here. Lastly, to finish things off, I'm gonna dip into this shade right here, Nectar, and I'm gonna use just a touch to go underneath my brow bone, just like the absolute lightest touch of this. Just taking it right there on the brow bone just to add that nice, a subtle sheen. Okay guys, so this is how we're looking right now. This is the look completed. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some eyeliner and lashes and then I will be right back. All right guys, so this is the finished a final look with a liner and lashes on. Tell me what do you guys think about it. Would you wear this? I totally would. I would wear this on an everyday basis. This is a totally a look that I would have worn when I was working. I feel like it's a very wearable, but it's also a very glam. Mm, I love it. I feel like the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette is just a staple palette for everybody. I feel like so many people have had this or maybe still have it kicking around in their collection. And I feel like it's a cult favorite for a reason. So let me know down below in the comments if you like the look. Let me know if you would like to see more videos featuring this eyeshadow palette. And don't forget to subscribe for some more beauty content and give this video a thumbs up. It really would help my little channel out. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.